So today is the fourth in a series of short videos focusing on Synology 1621 Plus. In the last video, we installed the two SSD cache drives along with the 10 gig adapter card. Today, we're gonna to upgrade the RAM from four gig to 32 gig, which is the max. Now that said, join me in the process. Okay, so the 1621 is powered down. Let's remove the access panel so that we can get to the memory. Here's the existing four gig card. We'll just remove that and place that aside. And we're gonna add 32 gig using two 16 gig Kingston cards. Now I know I'm not using the Synology memory and that's okay. I bought this memory with my own money. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Let's get the second memory chip lined up in place. And seated just like that. Now we'll put back the access panel. And secure it with the two screws. If you like this type of content, please go ahead and smash that like button. It just helps get it out in front of more people. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so now we have the memory installed. The NAS booted up successfully, as you can see here on the screen. The widget says that the system is healthy, so that's a good thing. What I wanna check on now is to make sure that all the upgrades are being recognized. In the last video, we did the SSD cache upgrade. We did the 10 gig PCIe ethernet card upgrade, and today we did the memory upgrade. So we're gonna check on those three things to make sure the 1621 is actually recognizing them. So let's start by checking on the memory. Let's come over to the control panel and we'll go to info center. And if we look at the total physical memory, we can see here that the NAS is seeing 32 gigs. So that's a good thing. Let's click up on the main menu and let's come over to the storage manager now and we'll check and see if it recognizes the two SSD cache drives. So it says everything is healthy. Let's come over to the HDD slash SSD tab. And if we look here, it says cache device one and cache device two being recognized. Yes, they're not initialized and we'll do that probably in another video, but at least we know the NAS is recognizing them. And lastly, let's go check on the network card. So let's come back to the control panel. Let's click on the network icon and then select network interface. And here you can see the list of RJ45 ethernet adapters. So we have LAN one, which is my one gig port, which is connected. And then LAN two, three, and four are the other built-in LAN ports on the NAS. And then we have LAN five and LAN six, and those represent the two 10 gig ports on the PCIe ethernet card. Now, I don't have any way of testing 10 gig at this point in time, but once I get into the permanent studio, I'll have a 10 gig switch in the network. I'll have a 10 gig PCIe card in a Sonic Ethernet enclosure, a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure to bring the Mac up to 10 gig networking and then we'll be able to do some testing at that point. So there you go. We have the Synology 1621 Plus completely upgraded. We added the total of the two SSD cache drives. We added the 10 gig PCIe adapter card. And then again, in this video, we upgraded the RAM to the max of 32 gig. In the next video, what we'll do is probably go ahead and get that cache configured. So if you like this type of content and this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And yes, I want to thank you again for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.